going? My name is Anthony Gray. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I've been asked to show how I make um, my tutorials on YouTube. I'll uh, show you the best I can, alright? And um, let's see. Hopefully you can learn something from it. Um, I'll go as slow as possible and um, pretty much show you how it's done. It'd be pretty straightforward, okay? And um, I hope it uh, informs you, entertains you, and um, if you have any questions, feel free, comment down below, okay? This will probably be posted on my YouTube channel, ironically. All right, and um, yeah, that's about it. So, here we go, all right. I really hope that uh, this thing shows well. Okay. Um, for me, anyway, what I use or what I like to use is the iPhone. Okay. This one's a old iPhone 6. Okay. Um, as you can see, I have it propped up on my little uh, gadget. I think I have an extra one laying around here. So I don't have to take this one apart. I'm looking right now and I don't see it so it looks like I'll be taking that apart but that's okay I have a camera stand also numerous camera stands so um, what you're looking at here is actually the top of the camera stand I have it pointed towards me the handle pointed towards me so when I'm sitting in the chair I just can move I can move it around this way all right um, that's the way the camera stand actually looks all right and let me set the camera down for a second. All right, focus. That's what she looks like. This is just the base to the thing. All right, you can get this handle at like the dollar store or something. It just comes from a selfie stick. That's basically. Don't go to eBay and get it when you can just get the selfie stick for a dollar and you just get this thing it's um it's adjustable as you can see to fit whatever kind of phone all right there so it is adjustable all right it's got a little phone piece or whatnot um any camera stand will do okay the camera stands not in focus but this is the base and it just attaches to the base all right right up above here you just twist it just like you would do any uh, DSLR camera or whatnot okay this is how um, well when I do my live shows I use the I use the iPhone okay let me let me correct that when I do the live shows I use the iPhone and I attach it um, like so I'll refocus I'll use the uh, the iPhone, I'll turn it to its side like so. Alright. I don't think we're in focus still. Hold on for a second. There. Now we're in focus. But this is what I use when I do my live shows. And I will attach. attach it to the uh, base and if you want it it does swivel okay you see it swivels up down whatever it does do all the swiveling and such um, it will not fall off you don't have to worry about that um, I have the power connected to it because if I you know run a little long or whatever um, it's all continuous power the second um, wire you see hand down is actually my lapel mic Okay, I got this off of Amazon, eBay, one of them places for like, I don't know, 17 bucks or something like that. They work fairly well. It's this guy. There. It's this guy. I'll put it here in the blue area. You can see it up there. 
All right, a little clip on my uh, microphone. Turn it to the side here, you can see. And make sure my hand's not in the way. It will be there. Okay, as you can see, a little roach clip type of deal. Right there. Okay. And it, you know, pretty much clips on, stays on. All right. It's on my nail, but you guys see what I'm talking about. All right, and you put it, if you guys can see me, just put it right here on the center. Like so. There. And that's how it works. Okay? All right. But that's what I use for my live setup. Okay. Let's clip this for a second. Okie dokie. So that's actually, like I say, for the uh, first part. And I can take the camera, obviously, and turn it in the direction. Now, because I'm a lefty, um, I would have to put the camera more to the right of me, okay, and center it. So it will look at the board, okay. And I'm actually right beside the board itself, okay. So I can actually turn the camera around. I'll bring it around, and you'll see All what right. I'm talking about here. And this is where the board is. Obviously, it's a uh, cricket because I have to reposition everything. There we go. So, obviously, you know, this is where I do my little painting and all of that here. And this is the board. It's just covered with white paper. And I'll show you this on the side here. I have, uh, when, I, when you guys speak to me, um, when you guys speak to me live, I'll look at you like this. You can barely see my face. Hold on. I'll do a lot of editing here. Okay, you'll be able to see me pretty good now, I think. Um, when you, uh, maybe you won't. I'm going to have to do some stuff with this. When you um, see me live, oh, you can see it right now. This is where I'm seeing your, um, re your reflection. Touch screen, as you can see. But this is where you I see you, your um, your comments and such. Okay, um, it has a lag of a few seconds. All right, but this, that's where I I, I uh, talk to you guys and and, and, and uh, see your comments and such. Okay, now as I tend to tilt, I'm gonna tilt downward here. Like I said, hopefully it's still in focus. But I'll tilt downward, and you can see. focus it here. As you can see, there's my <laughs> vast array of mess down there. Okay. All my brushes, all the paints, all that good stuff. All down there. All down there. Um canvas, all my stuff for my acrylic pores are down there. You're not gonna see it because of the chair. But see, there. There they are. It's all down there. Water tubes, uh, the uh, alcohol. All right, you can see that. No, you can't see it. You will be able to see it. There, it's the glycerin bottle, extra paints. Oh, my Grumbacher paints are down there. All that good stuff. All the brushes are in my little foam thingy, right about here. All that stuff there. All right. So. Let's go back to the board because I know it's in focus. And let's even it a little bit, level it. Like that. Okay. Now yeah, I can leave this thing alone. Anyway, that's that. What I'll show you now, um, with ironically another camera, is the camera that I'm actually filming me with. And I'll show you what I use um, when I do my. Um, actual YouTube videos so stay tuned this is quite humorous I'm using a Canon to film a Canon okay anyway I use one of these guys all right um, this one is a Canon EOS Rebel T3 I'm filming with the uh, Rebel T6 all right um, I actually got a couple more um, different brands, but these take the monitor, so. Alright, but 
this is what I film with. Okay. I'll bring it up a little closer. And I'll fix the uh, the zoom on it. I'll keep this close. Right here. I'll focus on just the camera, not me. Alright, but this is what I, I use. Alright. Little knob there is for microphone, monitor, light, or whatever else I want to put on it. It comes up. It comes off. All right. I have um, two different lenses. All right. As you can see, it is on. I don't really need it to be on. Shut it down. But this is what I use to film the YouTube videos. Okay. I put it right on the uh, right on the uh, camera stand. I got a few camera stands. And um, you know it angles up, down, downward, or whatever way you want to do it. All right. I even have a bracket that hangs up on the ceiling, and I can film upside down. All right. I just haven't put the bracket up yet. All right. But this is what I use to film with. Um, it films in 1080p, which is you know, high def. Okay. Um, either a QuickTime file or MP4. Um, and I'll, uh, oh, let me show you something also. This one here, it takes the correct type of uh, video card. All right, this is just the housing. The actual video card is, but it's a tiny little fella. All right, but it is, for this kind of camera, it's a 64 gig, it's a V30. All right, you need something like that for um, that's fast enough to take the 1080p. It does cost a little bit. Okay, um, if you don't get a card like this, your videos using a DSLR camera will only last about 11 minutes. This one here does 30 before it shuts down, 29.58 or something like that. Um, unless you use a different type of camera, my Lumix camera, it's Panasonic, it does. Um, do indefinite video shooting okay so it won't give me a time limit or right, I mean when the battery dies that's that's when it's over for that okay I guess I can focus it back on me now huh there I'll be doing a lot of editing all right <coughs> but anyway this guy is what I use to do the filming back here okay okay um after I'm done doing my filming and whatnot then we go to the editing all right now I have a laptop in here and I have one out there in the uh, in the living room so I guess I can show you in either place really um, I have a quad core here in the room but there's a dual core machine in the uh, in the living room where I actually do the the actual editing I don't um, usually uh, take the whole camera in there to do editing. I just use the little card and put it right into the, to the slot and we do the magic right from there. So I guess I can show you the program that I use after I get done doing the filming and such. Okay, now you don't have to really go to the extent of um, what I have to, uh, to do it. Um, some people do it on their cell phones, if I mean, you know. But recording from a cell phone, it, it is um, all depends on what type of cell phone you have, what kind of smartphone or whatever you have. The, the files are are really really big, and um, your PC may or may not be able to handle all of that. You have to um, you have to really check the specs on your computer, and see how fast it is, and see how much stuff you got on the computer. Well, not you just have to devote some space. Uh, on your on your computer or uh, get a faster computer that can handle it the video processing takes up a lot of compute speed and, and it takes, takes up a lot of processing on the computer so you just gotta have something a little fast enough the computers nowadays are alright they can, they can pretty much take it alright so um, with that being said actually um, what, I was, what I'm going to do actually while I'm talking to you is I will turn this one on um, 
because I, you haven't seen actually what I am recording you with. So at the same time, as of like right now, I'm actually talking and recording. There we go. Because I have to show actually what I'm being filmed with. So I'm filming me filming myself talking to you. All right. So as I'm doing that, the sound obviously will match up. I'll probably split screen this thing or whatnot. But I'll show you guys actually what I'm using to film this. Okay, as you can see, the, the, uh, the red light is on here. All right. So it's filming me filming you. All right. These are pretty cool because I can actually zoom in on me filming me there pretty freaky right but this is what I think the, the setup I'm using right now all right so I'll just show it to you guys here real quick like so you don't have to go to the extent and it's on the tripod here I'll show you my messy floor and everything where um, where the dresser is is where I used to have the drawing board so I had to switch the whole room around okay but I'll just show you guys what it looks like filming this thing all right there's the obviously the iPhone there I'm trying my best to uh, still stay in focus here <coughs> of course you had a good look at Godzilla that's not what you guys are interested in okay but there it is everything that's hooked up to it and whatnot okay okay let's go back around it's out of focus of course and all right, but this is this is um, pretty much the setup get up that I use. Yeah, focus it real good. This down. All right, I don't need this. All right. And uh, well, pretty much. Oh uh, well, there you have it. All right. Um. I gotta make a habit of looking at the lens and not look up at my monitor. Um, what I'll show you is the PC, uh, what program I use to do the videos, and all that good stuff. And um, yep, we'll go right from there. Oh, I also while I'm while I'm yakking to you here, remember I told you about the lapel mic. Now I have a microphone. If I do the YouTube videos, I do have a microphone up here. I have a unit that that um, I can plug right into the unit and it does nothing but audio and I can put the audio in the PC that's how that's why you <clears throat> you hear my voice so strong okay and it can either plug up to an actual mic or it plugs into the lapel like there <laughs> like so okay and this is what you guys see all right so that's how I do it and when I'm live this is, when I'm live this is what I um I use okay so if you guys don't hear me because my voice is kind of low and I don't talk loud um, if you guys don't hear you guys don't hear me it's probably turned this way or more to the side right or left um, and so I just adjust it and whatnot so let's put this back and let's put this back let's hope this all up there we go alrighty then the next shot you'll see is me in the living room. I'll turn on the PC. Um, now you may see the funny little bands of stripes on the PC because the video speed and the computer's monitor speed might be different. And you'll see bands of light going on the screen. You probably see it on old TV shows and stuff, whatever the old time computers. That's because the film speed and the monitor visual output speed um, is not matching up. You know, one goes too fast while the other one is you know like that so after you get the little bands going up but you know technical stuff all right stay tuned hey guys we're back okay see this this is the little micro adapter um with the micro card in it right there all right obviously the screen behind me is uh out of focus but don't worry i'll put it back in focus but this is going to go into the slot of the uh to the pc all right, so I will put my camera back in focus. All right, I use Power Director. This is Power Director 15 
real easy editor real cool all right now I got my card already in the slot so I'll put it into the full feature editor um, this is actually the clip that I've taken of me taking a photo video of me recording me all right so I'll just clear this out of there like so and I will go into um, the import media import media files I'll just import it right from the um, right from the card so and here we are here we are and here we are this is the actual video itself all right this is the video editor that I use okay and here's the uh, clip right here I can press it to preview it if I want to all right and I'll just click open and there we are all right oh I forgot that I do have it for a, a quick time file but anyway here it is I can even do the preview if I want okay I can speed it up fast forward do whatever I'll be editing this anyway but as you can see me videoing me all right all sorts of stuff looking at the stand and whatnot there's the panning of uh me panning and whatnot I'll be editing the mess out of this all right but anyway that's what that does and you just take it all right take the file and uh, oh let me show you something anyway I'll just get my intro my intro is also here the desktop and my intro is right here that you would see on my youtube channel all right and i'll just open it there's the uh intro that might be familiar to everybody there's the intro all right obviously i don't have the music or the speakers on i don't want to hear it then i just put it right here on the timeline all right and uh, you can take the timeline now each um, video editing program pretty much works the same way. All right, I really like this program. You can enlarge the file. You know, this file is only 10 seconds long. You can enlarge the video or the audio file. You can adjust the video or the audio file itself. You can add your audio file in there like this. All right. Um, as you see, the pictures come up here, each one of the frames. Um, the audio will come a little bit later. It's processing the audio now, but on this timeline you can pretty much just zoom in do whatever you can cut edit all right um the transitions are here and you can look at the different transitions and such you know it's a transition i'll never ever use in this lifetime but they are all here all types of transitions all crazy types of stuff you want to do your fades in and whatnot and you just take it and you put it right into the timeline and you want to preview it you can preview it it kind of looks kind of like that all right stuff like that but anyway this is what everything looks like this is how i do all my editing and such all right and when i go to uh produce a thing all right i click on produce on this program i click produce and i can produce it as mp4 um m2ts mkv whatever file i want you can edit the size of your um your file um to make it whatever size you want it to be um according to youtube standards all right so i mean that's all a learning process but like i say i'm showing you how i do it and what program i use to do it i can go right back to the edit functions and go right back to the familiar screen here here's the audio now if the audio is too low there's a little band here I can click on that and I can either raise or lower that audio you can see me raising and lowering the audio all right now it's doing it right off the card I did not uh, put this into the computer yet but I can all right um, and just be done with it so I'll just go new project get rid of those I don't want to save the changes it doesn't matter there now we're back to a blank slate here I really don't I don't need it but I can put the uh, 
the video that I do did have off the previous one. I'll just put it. I'll just cut it and put it to where I usually put my stuff anyway. When I um, start to redo things, I'll just put it right there. It'll take a second or two. Taking it off the car, put it in the, on the hard drive right now. So now my card is empty. All right, there it is. This is the same process you see me do. I'm gonna do it with this process, uh, with this, with this camera here. All right. So I don't need any of that. That's all done. And I don't need my card, so I will eject my card. And then that's the end. Of it. Anyway, that's the process that I use to do the YouTube videos. All right. If there's something that you don't understand or something that um, you think I may have missed, comment down below. All right, any questions, I will answer your questions. Um, just let me know. All right, so hopefully I made it as simple and as clear as I could. If you want to know the program, what type of program, how much the program costs, blah, 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 just hit me up. I'll let you know. Okay, if you need specific specs on what size to do the video recording or whatever um just let me know okay we can go on from there but this is how i do mine this is how i get it done um when it comes to doing a youtube video um and i showed you how i do it live okay doing it live um i don't use the camera i guess i do some cameras you can actually log online and do it right from the camera okay my uh, the one i'm recording with now does that if i wanted to do a live from from the camera I can, I can do live from the camera um so um like I say any questions or whatever just give me a right give me a holler let me know let me know what you're thinking let me know what you think of the video all right and uh I believe that's it so I'll see you uh when I see you all right and um can't wait to hear your your inputs on on the video and how you think I did with all that said enjoy your day whatever day you see this and um, keep painting um, be productive stay safe and I'll see you next time peace